Understanding Talon's Territory, Exploring English Idioms. Hello everyone, today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of English idioms. Specifically, we'll explore the phrase, Talon's Territory. This video is perfect for those of you learning English and wanting to understand more about the colorful and sometimes confusing world of idiomatic expressions. So, let's get started. First, let's break down the phrase, talon's territory. A talon is a sharp, hooked claw found on birds of prey like eagles and hawks. The word territory refers to an area that someone or something controls or considers as their own. So, when we put these two words together, it suggests a zone or area where someone has control or influence, much like a bird of prey dominating its hunting ground. Talon's territory isn't a common or widely recognized idiom in English. It seems more like a creative or metaphorical expression. In this sense, it's used to describe a situation where someone has a strong influence or control over a particular area or field. For example, in a business context, if we say, we're entering into Talon's territory, it implies moving into a market or area dominated by a powerful player. Let's look at some contextual examples to understand how this phrase can be used. 1. In a corporate setting, with this new product, we are stepping into Talon's territory, competing directly with the market leaders. 2. In personal dynamics, when it comes to making decisions about the family business, it's clearly my uncle's Talon's territory. 3. In sports, Playing against this team on their home ground is like entering Talon's territory, they have a huge home advantage. Understanding Talon's territory can also lead us to explore other related idioms in English. For instance, big fish in a small pond or rule the roost are idioms that also convey the idea of having control or being an influential presence in a particular area or situation. I hope this video has helped shed light on the phrase, Talon's territory, and given you insight into how English idioms work. Remember, idioms add color and depth to language, making it more vivid and expressive. Keep exploring and don't be afraid to dive into the rich world of English idioms. Thanks for watching, and happy learning!